Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Beth and today we're going to have some fun and look at some Timu makeup items that I thought you would enjoy. I will start by telling you I am not sponsored by Timu. I purchased all these items myself. I wanted to get a variety of things that I thought everybody would enjoy, would enjoy looking at. Some of the things I've actually already used and repurchased and those specifically I thought I would show you because they really are great products. So enough ado let's get into it our first item is a makeup brush cleaner this one is a thick solution this is actually my little makeup brush cleaner cup thing that I bought from Timu also it is collapsible but it pops open to a little bowl like this and you just put the solution in here and it's got a textured bottom so you can just and you can see I've used it it's got some makeup residue in it but um, you just scrub your brush around the bottom and then rinse it out and let it dry really good products I've used this is my second bottle of the solution it's really great I love them both the next item is another one that I've used myself this is the brand I'm trying to find this is from Say Nana, S E and then N A N A. This is a primer, and this is my second one of these primers that I purchased. And I've been waiting to do the video so I could open it and start using it. I have another one I just finished up, but this is one of those that is three colors. You squirt it out, and you, it has a little pump top if you can open it, and you just pump out what you need. Usually for me, I use two to three. Three is a little bit too much want two is a little bit too little so great product I do like it it works really well and again this is my second one so I'm excited to start in on my new one the next time I want to show you is these beauty blender eggs now these are in a cute little egg carton um, they don't have really a brand that I can show you they just come like this but this is an eight pack they are different shapes I use this one for my primer and also sometimes the foundation I've been using this shape recently for my foundation and I am by no means anybody's makeup advisor so I may not even be using the right one for the right thing but there are a lot of different shapes there's also uh, the plain round typical shape but there's eight of them in here and I want to say they're like four dollars ish they're very very reasonably priced they're really great texture I'm sorry I just closed it but they're a really great smooth texture of course they work the same as every other beauty blender in the universe but I really like these just because of the price and I've been able to use them up throw them out don't have to worry about cleaning them because they're really that cheap <laughs> so this is actually I haven't finished my last box but this will be my third box of these I just wanted to get a new box to show you guys but they come in different colors too I've got yellow purple green they're really good colors okay this one I haven't used yet I've been saving it to show you guys it's, it's so cute it's just a little puffy powder brush but look how cute and I want to say this is like a dollar maybe a dollar <laughs> super soft top it's got a little bit of a pink shading but the white top and it comes in a little netting just to keep the bristles together I will say all of Timu's items are going to come in some kind of cellophane wrapper even if it's in a box it's going to be wrapped I've unwrapped these because it's just easier for the video but they do all come this was in a little cellophane baggie so really fun things so on to items that I have well no there's one more that I tried sort of I got two shades of this little lipstick duo this is from Usha's U-S-H-A-S and with this you get a pencil eye, uh, lip liner and a matte lipstick and I have a few different shades of this the one I'm wearing currently is the other shade of this I bought and I put a gloss over top of it because I just wanted to gloss today but they stay on really well they are really good colors they're not a permanent like they're not a stain so it will wipe off but because it's a matte it's gonna stay on really well so I recommend this one it's a really good one 
So now on to items that I haven't tried yet. So I got me a foundation palette because I've been using an old little round <laughs> makeup mirror to mix my foundations and squirt them out on when I need to. And it's just needs to go. So I got this really pretty, whoops, I got this really pretty one and it has a peel off protector. Got it stuck on really well. There we go. So this is actually a super shiny. This one's a rose gold, but there are, let's do that at a different angle. Um, there are different colors for these. I just liked the pink color. It was really pretty. Next thing I want to show you is this item. It's from I not I could not pronounce that Q I B E S T Kibest we can go with. That. <laughs> um, this is a liquid blush, and you might recognize the packaging as this being a dupe of a uh, more expensive brand, but this is just a little liquid brush. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm excited to give it a try. I got a really pretty pink color. It's got a really small doe foot. I really wish it had a bigger one, but you could, I mean, it's certainly gonna work. You just dab it on where you want and smudge it around with your blender or brush. But I got a pretty light pink color for that one. All right, next, okay, I got. I thought this was super fun. I sometimes like to put a bright, shimmery color right in the corner of my eyes. Um, and this is a really pretty white, I wanna say, I, I remember it correctly. Yes, this is a white pearlized iridescent. And it has a little doe foot applicator as well. Just stick it on where you want it and blend it around. If you want a super shiny bright highlighter, you could use this for a highlighter too if you wanted to. So there's a lot of versatility with pretty much any makeup item these days. Okay, so the next one is from Dia Manpu. D-A-I-M-A-N-P-U. And this is actually a I want to say this is a lip plumper but let me open it and find out with you hang on a second yep look how pretty this oh no this one is the color changing lip balm this that's what this one is look at that how pretty so this is one that will change into a different color probably pink when you get it on and give you some good tint to your lips for the day with a little bit of shine. And it's sparkly, so you never know how much sparkle you'll get out of it too if you want a little bit of extra sparkle in your day. And the next one is, I'll go ahead and show you another lip product. This one is actually the plumper I thought the other one was. This is from, not this is not actually a word. This is IBCCC NDC Plump Lip Balm. You can see there. And it says natural lip color. So this one is a plumper, a plumping glass. And it comes in a cute little pink package. And if this one starts off pink, I think that's actually a shade, it's not a color changing. So this is gonna be a pink gloss that will plump. All right, the next thing is a mascara that might look familiar to. I think it looks like the Maybelline, I wanna say. Um, this is called the Great Lash as well, I think. But um, this is from W-E-H-E Beauty is the brand on this one. And I'm not gonna open it. It's actually got a wrapper around it. This also came in its own little separate bag, but it's got a seal besides. And I've got two or three mascaras open at the moment, so I'm not gonna open that one to dry out. but. I do have another Timu mascara that I've been really enjoying. It is one that's got the fiber soap fibers. I have experienced good things with their mascara so far. All right, the next item is a concealer. This is from Langmani. Langmani concealer. And this one, I just thought was interesting looking. Usually when I get a concealer, it is a stick. 
that um, you either twist up or it's going to be on a wand. This is actually in a little pot. And you can see the texture is super creamy. This you just dip in with your cord brush, grab what you need, and you don't have waste. So one thing I experience with especially pump out products is if I don't use it all, I'm going to probably end up wasting some of it. And I hate doing that. But this one you can just get literally what you want. If you need a bit more, get a bit more. And you don't have to squirt out stuff you may or may not use. This one is a little palette. This is an all-in-one palette. And this one, I, I grabbed it because I thought it would be cool because it, should, it has eyeshadow, it has contour products. I can't get it open. <laughs> it has contour products and I want to even say a setting powder, but let me pop it open. This one is closed really well. <laughs> Hang on a second. All right, I got it open. All right, so look how pretty. You have um, some that you could use as a blush. You definitely have eyeshadows. That darker brown in the middle could be your eyeshadow tint for the day. This is a great one just to keep in your purse or in your car for touch-ups during the day or even for a quick trip out if you need it. So, sorry, I'm going to turn it where you can't see the, the reflections. Not so bad. <laughs> Let me do this. Okay. So this is a really cool set. I thought it was really nice to have an option for just everything for the day. The next one I think is fine. Um, I kept seeing this one pop up on the recommendations for when you're, when you're just shopping, scrolling through stuff. Um, this is from Candy Bella. I opened it before I showed you. I'm sorry, this is super reflecty in my, everything is showing up in it. So, <laughs> Candy Bella. This is a, this is, I don't know if I would really call it a setting powder. It's a mattifying powder. Um, and this is called Blue Sky and Cloud Oil Control Pressed Powder. And there is 0.10 grams in here. But the reason that it kept catching my eye, you'll see here in a second. Look at that, how pretty. So it's blue and white and creamy. It comes with a little uh, applicator. I think I'm gonna try it over makeup, but I think this might be something more for your just natural days, especially summertime when you've got your tan going on and you just wanna go out and not be super shiny. You can put a little matte powder over the top, just over your face to get that shine down, but still keep your natural glow. That might be a fun one to try. That is everything I wanted to show you today. I hope you enjoyed taking a Timu journey with me. Um, I am not sponsored by Timu. I, again, I bought all these items myself. If Timu is watching and they would like to sponsor me, I'm all over it, so <laughs> let me know. I did sign up as an affiliate, so I do have a link below if you want to check out the Timu products and use my link. I would appreciate it. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. It'll help me immensely. Leave your comments and feedback of what you'd like to see and what you didn't like. And I appreciate all of you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.